Hi, I'm Rajan Misri and I'm an engineer with Qualcomm Technologies. Today we are going to be talking about Dragon Board 410C, which is a development platform. And we'll walk you through some quick start and tips and tricks on how to get started with the Dragon Board 410C. Hopefully, after watching this video, you will be all set and ready to hack away with the Dragon Board 410C. Some of the basic things you will need to hack away with the board is the Dragon Board 410C, of course, with the power connector to turn, turn the board on. You will also need a keyboard and a mouse to interface with the operating system. You can also get a sensors mezzanine board that will enable the Dragon Board 410C to talk to a whole bunch of sensors. We also have a micro SD card with a SD card connector, a micro USB cable, and an HDMI monitor. The Dragon Board 410C is available from Arrow Electronics and depending on where you have procured it from, it might have a different version of operating system on it. So this one we have right here has a, a Linux based Debian desktop environment. So we have uh, the Dragon Board connected to this monitor right here with an HDMI cable. We have the Bluetooth dongle for the keyboard and the mouse and we have the power connector right here. So we're going to go ahead and switch the Dragon Board on, power it on. And you see the lights blinking right there and the desktop environment launching on the HDMI monitor. One of the first things that you would want to do when you start hacking away with the Dragon Board is connect it to Wi-Fi so that you can start getting updates for your Linux environment. You can start downloading uh, project uh, uh, samples and, and so on. So for the desktop environment, since you have it connected to an HDMI monitor, it's, it's really simple. You can just go ahead and click on the taskbar, select the Wi-Fi connection. It will ask you for a password and you can enter the password. And you can see the wheel spinning. You can see it's trying to connect to Wi-Fi right now. We can go ahead and check the connectivity using a terminal window. So you can see it connected to the Wi-Fi network and go ahead and do sudo ping www.google.com and you can see it's connected to the network. It's able to reach websites outside of its network. Once you're connected to Wi-Fi, you might also want to connect to other peripherals. Let's say, for example, Bluetooth. You can go ahead and click on preferences system settings and that's where you'll find options to connect to other peripherals like Bluetooth say uh, for example you can go ahead and double click on Bluetooth you can add a new device and that's where it'll search for devices that it can find it's scanning and it'll start looking for devices that it can pair with once you are connected to your peripherals and connected to Wi-Fi, you might want to remotely SSH into your Dragon Board from your host PC, right? So easiest way to do that is to find out what IP address is assigned to your Dragon Board. You can just do IP ADDR, IP space ADDR, and that will give you the IP address of the Dragon Board that has been assigned to the Wi-Fi chip on the Dragon Board. So here we can see it's 10.73.74.123 and if you're on the same network you can connect to this IP address using any uh, SSH uh, terminal tool from your host PC. Now that you have the Wi-Fi also connected you can go ahead and download some sample code examples from GitHub and 96 boards has a projects repository which is a very good repository for anybody who wants to hack at the, with the Dragon Board 410C. You can just do a git clone https github.com forward slash 96 boards forward slash projects and that is going to clone the projects repository on the Dragon Board. So we have just cloned the projects repository from GitHub and now let's go ahead and cd into the project repository and let's uh, see what this repository includes as you can see it has a whole bunch of projects included within it 
it has a very good getting started with GPIOs, uh, which is a basic getting started with GPIOs. It'll, it'll walk you through on how to get uh, GPIOs working from shell and also using uh, a lot of uh, other programming interfaces like the Arduino, which is on the mezzanine board. It also has more GPIO projects like the Hourglass, IMU, Magic 8, self-balancing board, which are more complex projects which involve interfacing with GPIOs on the Dragon Board 410C. But it also has a project which is home surveillance, which is interfacing with open source computer vision libraries like OpenCV. So as a reference, this is a very good repository for anybody who is starting to hack with the, the Dragon Board. You'll get a very good set of examples. Depending on what you want to hack away with, you can use uh, this repository as a getting started guide. Today, I walked you through some quick uh, tips and tricks on how to hack away on the Dragon Board 410C. We looked at a few resources for 96 boards and the Qualcomm Developer Network. We really encourage you to go look at more resources and projects which have been posted on the Qualcomm Developer Network.